What's going on everybody? So you might recognize this place. The last time I was here, I did a video of my 2019 300, uh, the CB300R. That bike has since moved on. Nothing happened, don't worry, but I did trade it in and I uh, obviously upgraded. This is the 2019, sorry, 2018 CB650F here in America. Uh, 649 cc's it's heavy it weighs about 456 pounds wet <clears throat> so for a bike in its class yeah it's a bit heavy but let me tell you what an upgrade um today's video purpose obviously it's going to talk about it um really what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about what i've done to it so far um that way you guys could get some ideas get some inspiration Reason being, uh, there's not a whole lot of information on these bikes. Uh, most people just get the CBR 650s or the CBR 600Rs, whatever, and um, not too many people here in America have the 2018, the CB 650F, the naked version. This is the earlier version of now the CB 650R, the Neo Sports Cafe Racer, whatever, with the round headlight, which uh, you guys probably know that that's basically the big brother of my old bike, the 300R. So they kind of ditched this style and now they're going with the round headlights, but I'm telling you, I, I actually prefer this. I think this looks way nicer, still has the inline four. This thing screams, especially with obviously you guys see the full system. And because it's the older model, I saved quite a few bucks on it, especially with the trade-in at the dealer. So let's get started. <clears throat> uh, we'll just go front to back basically um, I'll also include links to everything that I'm talking about in the description Starting off there was a windscreen. This is dark smoke. You can still see through it and this is from Revzilla You guys are probably gonna notice that logo right there You already know they make really quality stuff It is a dark smoke like I said so you can still see through it um, I am six foot four, so it definitely cuts out the wind if you guys are worried about that. It definitely helps. It pushes the wind up into your helmet, uh, kind of over your helmet. Your, uh, your face shield and all that doesn't, doesn't get too much pressure, and the helmet does the rest of the work. This definitely pushes it off your chest. Also, a really cool thing that I like, CBF. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool touch that's laser cut into the powder-coated uh, metal brackets. Next, um, the TSD Industries. These are their LED headlights. I'll uh, put a link in the description below. They are based out of the United States. They're out of Florida. So for those of you uh, overseas, I'm not sure how much shipping will cost, especially now with this whole virus situation, how much it'll be delayed. But I got these really quick. Huge shout out to TSD Industries. Um, really easy install. Um, you do make sure you get the adapters, but you know visit their page. One thing I like about them is that they do professional videos on all their products. There they are, TSD Industries. They do professional walkthrough videos on their YouTube of every product they sell for your bike. So you can watch the actual guys install it and they walk you through. Um, awesome, awesome company, I love them. Also from TSD Industries, is the front fork sliders now these come with either a red or a white sticker i put the right uh i put the red obviously I have a red bike i think it looks nice um and they do stick out sufficiently so hopefully they do their job if ever comes the day where the bike goes down um really easy install it takes about four minutes no big deal watch their youtube video they have a complete install They look awesome, obviously, both sides. Also from them, um, I did it as a package deal as I got their engine slider. Um, what's cool about this is this little cap right here that just kind of snaps in to cover the, the bolt. Um, it comes in different colors, I just chose black. And you can see, I think that'll do a good job if it ever goes down protecting that engine, especially that nice gold you don't want to scuff that up. So, check them out. I got that along with the front fork sliders. 
from TSV Industries along with the headlights and tail lights you'll see in a minute. Now, obviously you guys can see this has a full system. This has the Two Brothers Tarmac full exhaust system from Revzilla. Um, here's the thing. People talk crap about Two Brothers. I don't know why they make sexual jokes. Two Brothers, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's like, oh, get Acro, get Arrow. Honestly, Two Brothers is the way to go. Not only was they made in America, but Two Brothers, if you read up on their history, they're designed specifically for Hondas. Um, the instructions could be a bit easier from them, but you know, if you have basic mechanic knowledge, I'm sure you could figure it out. It's not that hard to do an install. Um, it is a little dirty, you know, got to scuff that up a bit with some wool, uh, clean that up a bit, you know, but they, the welds are amazing quality. Um, beautiful welds. It's all one piece, except for two springs that just hold this to that. That's it. One on this side, one on the other side. Two springs, that's it. The rest of it is welded. And I like that. Some of the brands, you got freaking springs all over the place. It just, it doesn't look nice. They serve a purpose, but it, it doesn't look nice. I prefer a welded system. Um, it turns a beautiful gold color, and especially with an inline four. Um, it, it sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, I'll do a startup later bit, you know, towards the end of the video, you guys could hear it. <clears throat> but uh, again, that's Two Brothers. That's a Tarmac full system. Uh, made in the United States, and it does have the baffle, the DB killer. It is removed. Um, I'll probably tell you this now when I start it up in the video. It's not going to do it justice in person. This thing roars. It's unbelievable. You can see I do have TSD Industries rear turn signals. And they are mounted on a fender eliminator through Vegabond. I believe you pronounce them Vegabond, Vegabond. This is, now here's the thing. Um, I love TST Industries, but I don't like their fender eliminator. Uh, I really prefer this one. And the reason being, not only is it laser cut aluminum, it's solid as hell. You can rock the bike with this thing. It's not going anywhere, powder coated, but it fits the bike perfectly. Um, some of them, they don't, they don't, quite get this angle right here uh, this kind of goes up and then flat and then up again there's like three angles to it they designed it perfectly also you can use the oem license plate light oem turn signals or aftermarket leds also has little bumpers here so you get vibration dampening on your license plate it doesn't rattle extremely solid i can shake the whole bike with this Oh, it's a bit hot out today. I tried to make this video yesterday, but uh, and it decided to start raining on me, so I got out of here. And it's hot out today. <clears throat> um, got a pro grip. Um, you know, it is a metal tank, so I prefer not to scratch it, even though you can see it's got its marks, whatever. It's going to happen. But if I can protect it from my belt, my jacket, my zipper, whatever, obviously I'm going to do that. It's a pro grip. Sorry, I'm not sure if the camera's having issues focusing. Can't really tell here. And then here is the easy grip. See, it's having trouble focusing. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure why. Um, easy grip. Uh, they are designed for your bike, so visit their website. They are out of Europe. I believe they're out of Greece or Germany. So, oh boy, international you know, shipping. It's going to cost a bit. It was about a hundred bucks after shipping and they take it, you know, probably two, two weeks at least. But, um, with it being a metal tank, this could get really slippery with your pants, you know, your riding pants, whatever, especially if it's waxed. So this is a really tacky rubber texturized sticks right on. They got the little logo, easy grip, check them out. And there's one more thing. Uh, I don't know if you guys kind of got the hint yet. Let me give you a clue there right there yep so this bike is fitted with a power commander um that's really the last step on this bike i'm gonna get dynoed within the next few weeks and then we'll really see what it can do but i did get the power commander and that is through revzilla 
Um, pretty easy install. There's a no two sensor, like a crank positioning sensor. Uh, and then there's one more. Not an easy, or not a hard install, you know. Um, the annoying thing is you do gotta lift the gas tank, so it's kind of annoying, but basic knowledge, you know, you could, you could do it. It's not that hard, you could figure it out. The only hard part, honestly, is figuring out how to route the harness through the bike. After that, I mean, it, it's easy, it's not bad. So that's uh, everything I've done to it so far. <laughs> Let me get a start up for you guys. Oh, sorry. It's a little hard to do this with one hand. We'll leave it like that for now. Now again, the video, I know it's not gonna do justice. But here we go. kill that I don't know if you guys can tell in the video but man <laughs> definitely recommend the two brothers tarmac full system for this bike so that's it guys I uh, hope you liked it now I gotta get out of here it's it's hot out here and I'm getting the sun beaded on me on this parking garage um, you know let me know if you have any questions again all the links for what I've done to it will be in the description and if you guys have questions let me know and uh, stay safe out there, ride safe, we'll see you next time.